What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Behind me, as you guys can see, is my 2018 Camaro ZL1. Today I am going to be doing an oil change on it and I'm gonna show you guys the whole process and how to do it. So let's go. Okay guys, so my car is super low, so you guys are about to see how I get it on the lift by driving it on two by fours. Guys, let's get started. I am gonna start explaining everything to you guys. Let me bring you under the car. Okay, this angle is kind of weird, but that's because I'm trying to do a high angle so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, anyways, this right here is the oil pan, and then this bolt is what you're gonna take out, and that is where the oil is gonna splatter. of. So, first things first, what you wanna do is drain the oil. So I'm gonna do that right now. And again, it's gonna be, I think you guys can see it. Yeah, it's gonna be this bolt right here. Okay, so I'm gonna start loosening the bolt, but I'm not gonna do it all the way because the oil is literally gonna splatter out. So you'll see what I do. So, um, obviously the oil is draining, the dirty gross oil, um, and then I am going to take off the oil filter, which is this little thing right here, and then just unscrew that. So here's a close-up view so you guys can see like kind of what's going on. Um, oil is draining, and then this is the oil filter that... Um, this blue thing right here that's the oil filter so I'm gonna unscrew that and drain that as well it's gonna be a mess so I'll show you guys what I do yeah. so, I don't know where it's taking off this is tight so like where the fuck is it coming from little hang out here right there it's just seeping it's just the way it is look you see so yeah. it's seeping all through there. That's just when your car, when you're wide open, all that pressure, all the all the air pressure in the motor, crankcase pressure, is just pushing oil out. Look. So now that the oil is done draining, obviously I'm going to put the oil plug back in, and then we're going to take out the oil filter. Stops dripping a little bit, so I'm gonna take it out all the way. Okay, um, next step. I hope that I'm being thorough enough for you guys to understand like what I'm doing, what's going on, so that you guys can do it to your own car. Um, I'm trying my best. <coughs> Gosh. The mechanics in the shop, I'm in my dad's shop, and the mechanics in here are smoking, and I cannot stand the smell of 
cigarettes, cigarette smoke, any of that. Alright, um, so now I'm going to grab my new oil filter. Okay, so for those of you that have a Zale One, um, this is the oil filter that I use. This is just the AC Delco one, and it's just the one that I always use. So, um, let's unbox. New, new. So here is the new one. All right. Okay guys, so I got my oil, we ran out here at the shop, so we made a quick trip to AutoZone, me and my brother. Um, but anyways, this is the oil that I'm using, and I'm going to put a little bit here. Um, now we're gonna check the oil level and make sure we're good. Oh, look at that, guys. Okay, so dipstick. Wait, can you guys see? So that is completely full. And that's a wrap. Righty, start up. Okay, I'm gonna back out of the shop. I've been getting yelled at by my dad because there are customers here and I'm taking up space, so. Where's what? The Alrighty, guys. Um, that is about it for the oil change. I hope I did it thoroughly enough for you guys to understand. Um, anyways, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and yeah, bye. <laughs> Um, should I do a quick poll? Sorry guys, my camera is very wonky right now. I don't really have the best setup. Oh wait, I think I want to go get Starbucks. So that's what I will do. Okay. I don't know if my camera is going to stay if I do.